Alejandro to the principal's office. On my way. I believe we both know why I called you in, am I correct? No, ma'am. I was putting some stuff into my locker. Alejandro, that's not the answer. I was talking with Heather. That's the correct answer. The school code prohibits chatting the halls. You can be using that time to study rather than talking to people. It's an in-school suspension for you. I'll see you later for lunch detention as well. Hello, Superintendent. Is everything okay? Actually, no. I've been getting complaints about you going too far with your law and order philosophy. Send all those ungrateful students to my office. If they don't like it, then too bad. All who complained about me will be serving in school suspension and lunch detention indefinitely. It's not just the students who've complained about you. It's also the parents and staff. While it's true that misbehavior rates have decreased, you also overstepped your boundaries which brings me to my next point. Do you remember the spying scandal from a few days ago? Now to watch some grounded videos out of Owen and Tyler. What's this? Not another word. You should be studying for your integrated algebra regents exam. Also, wear your uniform when using the computer. You look like a slob. It's because of all of this that we've decided unanimously to let you go. Principal Dave here will replace you. It turns out that we need a balance between keeping order and giving students space. Your replacement did that in his old school. I see how it is. Fire the one actually keeping the school in order. You haven't seen the last of me. Leave this office while you still have your teaching job. I'm placing you on probation for an indefinite time period. I'm terribly sorry about that. Don't worry about it. The same thing happened when I took over at my last school. Let me know if you run into any problems. First order of business. Changing the school name from Vian Preparatory Secondary School to Vian High School. Now to clean up the hallways. Now to repeal my predecessor's archaic rules and relax the dress code. Students can wear casual clothes again and won't be called in for disagreeing with the rules anymore. You must be Alejandro. Yes, and I'm here for my lunch detention. Where's Principal Christina? She was fired and I'm a replacement. My name is David Harrison, but I go by Principal Dave. Mr. Harrison is also okay. Okay. Am I still in trouble? You are last sent here for a broken rule that was repealed. So, no. You don't need to do the lunch detention or in-school suspension. Before you go to the cafeteria, do you have any more questions? Yes. What about the dress code and spying scandal that I fell victim to? I'm allowing casual clothing. If you're unsure about a clothing item, don't be afraid to ask me about it. It's better to ask me than risk the detention. What about my suit? It's yours to keep. You don't need to wear it to class. And about the spying scandal, we removed the software from the school's laptops and prohibited our staff from doing stuff like that. Again don't hesitate to contact me if there are any problems. Seriously back to this? The new principal said I wasn't in trouble. That doesn't matter since you did lunch detention and in-school suspension. As of this moment, you, young man are grounded. Upstairs and straight to bed.